Hello everyone, it's Rad from Rad Kutsarot and within this uh, old video um, you're gonna hear the forecast for your star sign for the upcoming week which is a August 24th to a August 30th, a 2020. For those who are new to Tarot, uh, Tarot is all about knowledge. It's about the knowledge of the universe and how you interpret that knowledge. So if you do like the way I read the Tarot cards and you want to learn to read the same way, I am offering you a Tarot classes and uh, how to participate into them, you can find a link down below in the description of this video just so you know by purchasing a tarot class it also includes a, a certain amount of personal coaching with me as well when you do finish uh, the, the, the recorded class okay, and you do have the hang of it already you can address me with whatever questions you think I have not covered up there or simply you can use that time to uh, practice your reading skills, uh, reading skills with me uh, the other thing is, is that if you do want a personal reading, you can go to my website, which link you are going to find in the description down below as well. And there at the very front page, you're going to see full list of my services as well, their pricing. And as soon as you place a, a purchase, <clears throat> I'm going to come back to you within 24 hours via email to give you details how the reading is going to take place. So if you haven't received the email in your inbox, make sure you do check your spam or junk folder as well. So with that being said, just lay back and uh, enjoy the show. All right, so uh, this is going to be a Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon, and as well a Cancer Rising, our weekly general tarot reading for the upcoming week. And uh, bear with me a second to give a good shuffle to the cards and we're gonna jump right into it. Right, so the first card that we do have for you, Cancer, that is going that is going to be the uh, Five of Cups. Moving next, uh, we do have the Eight of Cups. Oh my, uh, that is very strong. Uh, to be honest, for a, a reading itself, regarding, uh, uh, based on whatever question you give me, uh, if that was a private reading, I don't even have to pull other cards in order to, to tell you what kind of a situation you are in. And what you gotta do in order to uh, push your situation forward all that you gotta do is just keep moving okay do not give up that that's pretty much the message of those two cards uh, but for the purpose of the video let's draw the other cards so we do have the Queen of Swords and uh, the last one here that is going to be the Tree of Pentacles uh, so on top of the first statement that I made that you need to keep on moving, uh, you may be starving of a couple of things, okay? So the first thing that you may starve of, it is the reason why you have to keep on moving, why you have to keep up with your relationship, say, or why you have to keep up with the narrative of your career. And the second thing that you may starve of, it is the approval or, so to speak, the support of development, someone to encourage you, someone to tell you how good job you are doing, someone to pretty much appreciate your work, to appreciate your time, to appreciate your effort. Well, you are going to get both, okay, throughout the week itself. And that's why you should not give up from whatever decision you made previously or whatever choice or whatever you choose to be involved in moving forward into the future. You should not give up of, of those things. So, the reading pretty much uh, points that throughout the week itself, you may face some kind of disappointments. Things may not go your way, okay? Or you may come to some kind of an information that uh, is going to question your devotion in general, your devotion to your career or your devotion to your relationship. Uh, and, and here, because we do have the Eight of, uh, the eight of Cups as well, which amplifies the Five of Cups itself, uh, speaks that you may tend to make uh, the fly looks like an elephant, meaning to make the matters seems far worse than actually the matter is. No different than seeing kind of like a, a message of, a, say, woman in a, in, a, in the phone of your husband saying that they should meet and you instantly are convinced that your husband is cheating on you while it could be just, you know, an old friend that just, just wants to catch up with, okay? Uh, so, yeah, that, that will be the tendency from your behalf to make the matters looks 
far worse than they actually are within your mind, within your brain, within your, uh, within your thoughts. And this is where an individual comes around with the, uh, with the manifestation of the Queen of Swords that actually puts sense in your mind or kind of like eases those hectic waverings, waverings. It actually suggests more plausible um, reason for the appearance of those disappointments and in some cases a partial losses which reasons are actually going to make like said a much more sense than your anticipation and on top of it are going to be a the true reasons hell that card could also manifest as a private investigator that you may hire to check on your wife or a husband are they cheating they will come the uh, with the information that your worries are pretty much in vain so the point here is is that we do have an objective spectator who actually gives genuine and objective opinion of an information of what the situation truly is and it's very important for you to maintain emotional tameness here in order to believe to that statement, to that information, because it is the truth. I mean, as much as the Queen of Swords could be a nasty person, they always play with the truth. They never lie. Okay, The King of Swords it is the one who bends the truth that serves their purpose. The Queen of Swords, that individual never lies. Okay. And so this is one of the ingredients that you are missing, the, the, uh, the aspect of being convinced that actually it's worth moving on and things are not as worse as you think they are. And the other aspect comes at the end of the week where probably you are going to sit on the table of the negotiations, uh, figuratively speaking, with those who disappointed you and kind of laying all of your cards that you do have, okay? Pretty much... Um, yeah, it's, I think that that's the English term, laying all the cards down, they are going to lay all the cards down as well. And uh, from there, um, a very fruitful conversations are to be led. A conversations through which definitely a common ground can be found. And from there, regardless of what the matter is, either career or relationship, this thing can and should lead to a very fruitful cooperation in terms of a career or a very fruitful... Uh, coexistence in term of a relationship a, a cooperation and coexistence that is found in, on a mutual trust and reliability rather than on the uh, wavering foundation of an unstable emotions so that being said uh, Pisces uh, this was your a weekly general tarot reading guys for uh, for the upcoming week uh, hopefully you have enjoyed it and uh, you have liked it and uh, with that being said we may see each other around until then bye